The best wide receiver in college football. Ladies and gentlemen, his name says it, he proves it. Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah. 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 This is awesome. He's so good at the football. His yeah. hands, by the way, just seem oh, yeah. off my head. Yeah. Holy hell, it touched my elbow. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to say, uh, I don't say combine stats. His hands, massive. That's good. I think that's a good stat to have. <laughs> um, hey, thank you for joining us. Of course, man. of course, of course. Big fan of the show. So. All right, nice listen, you here. should not watch our show. Listen, <laughs> you, need, you need us to not ruin you at all because you are something – that I think football is very, very excited about. Obviously, there has been a trend of young wide receivers doing well in the NFL, and you are the guy that literally, as you were walking onto the stage, a producer that's back in the truck who's uh, one of our guys, Zito, he said, there's future Bears savior right there. In my, <laughs> as you were walking, okay? There he is right there on the left, right there yeah. on the left. Foxy on the right would take you with the Lions, and then for me with the Colts, it's like, hey, we are sucking enough to fall into a position <laughs> where Marvin Harrison Jr. is gonna be able to follow in his dad's footsteps become an Indianapolis Colt. Let's talk about that. Uh, there was a piece on game day last year about your dad and everything that obviously you two have done to get you yeah. to this point. How has it been having a dad that's a Hall of Famer, one of the greatest of all time? It seems like it's paying off greatly. Do you not feel the pressure, though, of your name and what you have to do ever? Because you have done this thing flawlessly since the day you showed up here in Ohio State. No, I mean, it's definitely a lot of pressure, but uh, my dad has helped me a lot throughout my whole career. Uh, he's coached me very hard since you know, a very young age and uh, just learned from the most that I can from him. Uh, but yeah, I think the pressure definitely uh, is always there for me. But you know, you try not to let it affect you too much. You're known to be just like a jugsaholic. Like you're just on the jugs. Is <laughs> yeah. that from your dad, I assume? You've had a professional workout probably since you were a kid in this game? Yeah, I think um, the work ethic definitely comes from him. And then it's just in me. I don't know. I just always want to be push myself to be the best player that I can be. and. Uh, Every time I step on the field, I, I try to do the best I can, and I work very hard to uh, shine on Saturdays. Yeah, you do. And by the way, the Louis cleats. And oh, <laughs> so sweet. So much swag. Uh, it's awesome. Your moxie and confidence is something needed yeah. at your position. Uh, last question for me before the boys have some for you. Kyle McCord. Obviously, a lot has been made about him in his first year here as the Ohio State quarterback. Talking about a quarterback starting with Marvin Harrison Jr. as a wide receiver is certainly a comfort zone for a young guy. How has your relationship evolved here at the college level as opposed to high school level this season? And what do you see from him here that you maybe saw from him year early? Yeah, Kyle's my guy. Um, we went to started playing with each other in our sophomore year of high school at St. Joe's Prep. We went on to win three straight uh, state championships oh, together. Oh, is that good? <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty good. And then uh, you know, when we got to college, we both kind of had a way to turns a uh, year, you know, sitting behind some great players. And then uh, our relationships kind of developed, I think, more so off the field than on the field. Uh, he's my roommate my freshman year, and we just kind of uh, bonded over time. Hell yeah, you guys are showing up. What, yeah. 163? Uh, I think it was 163 two weeks ago to put you up over 100 yards. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it was yep. insane. It's fun watching you, dude. Thank Legitimately, you. it's fun to watch you play football. AJ has a question for you. Yeah, can you talk a little bit about that jugs machine that you're famous for? I, you talk to anybody affiliated with Ohio State, and they say, I can't go to the indoor facility and not see Marvin out there catching balls. Like, that's obviously your thing, but you have this kind of special jugs machine you've been using. Or you can... It, you can like line up and throw your different routes and something like what is yeah. this thing is this ai is this a full blown robot you got ai you're using no. ai <laughs> should we be worried it's, uh, it's called the seeker uh, by the company of monarch and uh, they helped me out a lot uh, just my success from last year and it's not really just me it's a lot of guys out there with me catching passes a lot of different receivers uh, dbs come out there too running back so we all work very hard together and just kind of push each other now whenever we were coming up through college different time mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Yeah, a little different, bit. Different time. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys get to have a good time at all? What do you guys do for fun? Play cards? We hang out? Go eat? Do we have a couple beers every once in a while? Why? Right. Okay. Um, all right, all right. I like to go to restaurants. Uh, I go to restaurants a lot. And then other times, just playing Madden, watching movies. Uh, I'm more of a homebody, so I stay home. I don't like to go too many places. But I am too. Uh, yeah. I, just I think now. As as yeah. I think everybody is. Now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tony has a question for you. Yeah, Marvin, you talked about when you and Kyle came in, you guys both kind of had to sit because there was other guys in front of you. And that wide receiver room at Ohio State for the last eight, nine, ten years has been absolutely prolific. So, like, is there is there a motto or is there a thing in there where like? someone had to teach you and then you have to teach the other five stars coming in and how do you guys compete in that wide receiver room because it, it's insane yeah um i got there i think it was four first rounders in my class. i think chris Olave, garrett wilson uh jameson williams and jackson pretty good uh, pretty good all in that receiver room with me and then obviously Whoa. 
know, I came in with other five-star guys, and Mecca was a five-star, you know, Julian Fleming. So it's just surrounded by so many great players. It's, you have no um, choice but to learn from them as much as you can, and uh, they definitely push you each and every day. Yeah. Now, obviously, you're getting paid. <coughs> we know. <laughs> uh -huh. We know yeah. that. But other than that, we talked to Ryan Day earlier, and he said, like, we're very transparent about who we are, and it's got to be the right people. Yeah. Why are five first-rounders in one room, six first-rounders in one room, coming to Columbus, Ohio, to play at Ohio State. What did you see in this program that made you choose here, and what have you experienced? Uh, just the history, and then um, you know, me playing receiver, one of the big factors was Coach Hartline. Uh, he does a tremendous job with the receivers, I think. Uh, the best thing about him is that he obviously recruits the right guys, like you said, and you know, we all are, are very talented, but uh, he develops your mind more than anything. And uh, I truly believe you know, your mind can take you places that your body can't. So I think he definitely does a great job of developing that, and I think that's why he's been so, so successful how, over the years. How long have you had that, like, uh, just, I mean, that's like a killer mentality there. Like, your mind can just control you, your work ethic, everything. You said, yeah, my dad showed me, but have you been like this forever? What other sports you play? I played football. Well, obviously I played football, basketball, <laughs> track, and uh, those were really my main three Basketball, sports. you're yeah, incredible, basketball I assume? And track. I wasn't incredible, but I was pretty good. I think I was pretty good. What about track? What do we do in track? Uh, I ran some of the short sprints, and then once I got to high school, I really couldn't you know, run track too much, was how football season was going. It was like 7 on 7 now, so we played football all year. I couldn't really run track as much as I wanted to. They were calling you an NFL wide receiver last year. What are you working on? What do you get better at? Everything. What does Everything. that even mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Everything. I, mean, I feel like you never can be too good at you know, any specific skill. So uh, that's catching the ball, um, running routes, drives up the catch. There's always room for improvement. So uh, there's never really anything that I'm satisfied with. Do you watch any film of anybody? Yeah, a lot of guys. Too many to name, so many guys. Um, obviously, all the Ohio State receivers. Uh, still keeping contact with them, and then I would say I watched my dad a lot growing up. More so on YouTube. Then, <laughs> yeah, more so YouTube. Then, hey, um, how about that toe drag in New oh. England? That catch. The one he tipped it to himself. Yeah. It's yeah. one of my favorite plays. Yeah, filthy. insane. Yeah, yeah he, he's filthy. I saw all those pictures at a point in time, and then they just got. Yeah, taken yep. off the wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's really unbelievable. Connor has a question for you, Marvin. Yeah, Marvin, obviously you heard from Zito, the Bears fan, you know, savior of the Bears. And as a Patriots fan, I can all actually say too, you know, need your savior of the Patriots. <laughs> I, there's a lot of different teams that need your services. Do you think about that at all? Is, is it easy to block out like, hey, I'm at Ohio State, I need to focus on this? Or sometimes do you drift on a Sunday when you're watching football like, ooh, I could be playing with that guy, with that guy, with this guy. Is that any, does that ever cross your no, mind? Not right now. I'm worried about you know, this year and doing the best that I can and finish out this year, uh, helping my team win. But uh, you know, next year we'll see, you know, wherever it takes me. Uh, continue to work hard and do the best I can. You don't watch him uh, and yeah. say, I could cook that guy? Yeah. No, I mean, there's a lot of <laughs> great corners in the league. I definitely look forward to playing against a lot of them, uh, playing with some great receivers as well. So I don't really look at it like that, though. Do you talk? No, I'm not much of a talker. No? No, I can sell I'll celebrate, but I ain't, I ain't going to say too much. Just going to do your job. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. Love it. Sounds like you're the perfect <laughs> guy, which is why, yeah. once again, come to Indianapolis. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're doing uh, We're doing Ty has a question for you. Yeah, Marvin, you talk about, like, that kind of external pressure and going, I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, winning is all that matters, but when everyone's talking about, like, hey, this guy this weekend should go for 150 yards and two touchdowns, I mean, that's said every single week, like, do you have, um, I don't want to say like statistical benchmarks where it's like, hey, if I don't do this on Saturday, I'm going to be disappointed in myself? Or is it kind of just, hey, I'm going to let the game come to me and impact it how I can? Uh, just let the game come to me and impact it the way I can. Uh, I know the team counts on me a lot to make plays. Uh, being one of the focal points on the offense, I just try to do you know, my part and you know, helping the offense, uh, whether that's in the run game or in the pass game, just doing all that I can uh, to uh, you know, help the team. You blocking out there? I do my, do my best and try. What are we, <laughs> so what are we doing? I, I'm sure you're getting judged on that in film. What are we do, What is the technique? Are you going for big shot? Are you going no, hands? Are you no, running hands, feet? Hands, hands and feet. Hands Just and feet. bam, we're trying to. Exactly, move your feet. I think I got rolled up on Notre Dame game. Yeah. Stop my feet. Uh -huh. That's what happened. Gotta, that can't yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, gotta keep happen. driving. Yeah, gotta, keep gotta, keep, gotta keep moving your feet. Yeah, that, I like that that's your mindset because there's some wide receivers that are like certain top five picks that would certainly go like, not have to keep my move my feet. Uh, gotta stop blocking near. <laughs> yeah. Where, uh, yeah, in college. Near the you know? So we appreciate the hell out of your humility. Mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate the hell out of your play. And we can't wait to see you not only this weekend, the rest of the season, and on Sundays. What do you expect from the environment here, Nuno? The best fans in the land right here. Don't get bored. Hell yeah. We appreciate you, man. Appreciate Ladies and gentlemen, Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah.